from Our Savior Lutheran Church in West Columbia, South Carolina. This is Daily Prayer with Pastor Lance for Friday, October 16th in the year 2020. Okay, we're back in the Exodus. We were on Monday. Uh, that was a story that actually happens after today's story. And today's story is God is preparing the Israelites to be a truly priestly people, right? He's, he's ordaining Aaron and his sons. That's Moses' brother. Uh, he's um, telling them how to build uh, the Ark of the Testimony, which is basically going to be the Ark of the Covenant, but it doesn't have the Ten Commandments placed in it yet. If you recall, on Monday, the story was Moses comes down with the Ten Commandments, sees the golden calf and all the debauchery, smashes them on the ground, and everything gets destroyed. Okay, this is before that, but they have this Ark, and that's where they're to offer sacrifice, upon what's called the mercy seat of the Ark. And he's also going through, and he's uh, just, you know, he's describing how he wants things appointed. Um, at the tent of meeting, that's where he meets face to face with Moses. Uh, God comes there, Moses, walk, Moses walks in, God comes down, and a big cloud goes over the tent of meeting to obscure anything that's going on in there. But then also, it's very nearby the Ark of Testimony. And he's telling, God's telling him how he wants everything appointed. So, uh, let's listen in, and go ahead, and as you read along, notice that there are some difficult Hebrew names in this passage. And if you want my tip for how to properly say Hebrew names, maybe the next time you're appointed to read some Old Testament passage, uh, here's my secret. Ready? Just fake it. No one knows how these names were truly pronounced anyways, but let's listen. A reading from the 31st chapter of Exodus, verses 1 through 11. The Lord spoke to Moses, See, I have called my name Bazalel, son of Uri, son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. And I have filled him with divine spirit, with ability, intelligence, and knowledge in every kind of craft, to devise artistic designs, to work in gold, silver, and bronze, in cutting stones for setting, and in carving wood, in every kind of craft. Moreover, I have appointed Ohulaib, son of Ashimach, of the tribe of Dan, and have given skill to all the skillful, so that they may make all that I have commanded you, the tent of meeting and the ark of the covenant and the mercy seat that is on it and all the furnishings of the tent, the table, its utensils and the pure lampstand with all its utensils and the altar of incense and the altar of burnt offering with all its utensils and the basin with its base and finally worked vestments, the holy vestments for the priest Aaron and the vestments for his sons. For their service as priest, and the anointing oil, and the fragrant incense for the holy place. They shall do just as I have commanded you. He's given lots of detail so far. Now he talks about two craftsmen that he has. I'm going to have to look at these names. Beziel, Bez, Bezalel, and Oholaib. Now, yeah, those are mouthfuls. And he, but he's, he's proving a couple of different things. The rock band Van Halen used to put in their big contracts with the venue that they were going to play out that one of the things that was the dressing room was going to have in it was only green M&Ms in a dish of the, at the snack table. Now, were they nuts? And the answer is no. What they were doing is they would put some small details in like that. Because if you remember Van Halen, David Lee Roth would swing all over the stage and this sort of thing. And all that rigging had to be built to Van Halen's custom specifications for him to be safe as he was swinging around. And the venue, if they hadn't properly read the contract, uh, then they could walk in 
to the venue, see multicolored M&Ms on the snack table and say, these guys have signed it, but they have not read the contract. So we can't trust that rigging. And I like to think that God's kind of doing that same thing. He's giving them a whole bunch of details, not because God demands the finest. And, I mean, he does want to bring a certain sense of import to the tent of meeting and to the ark of testimony, right? But he, one, he's trying to make sure that they follow instructions, all right? Two, he wants them to feel like this is a big deal. And so it is. And so, but, but lastly, you know, they need somebody to put all this together and to build it all. And just like he did with the water in the wilderness, just like he did with food in the wilderness, just like he did with meat in the wilderness, guess who's going to provide that? God. God. So a lot of times we'll have a story like this and you think, why is this even in the Bible? And just remember that God is making his people a holy people, a separate people. That's what holy means, a separate. And so he needs to have them do things in a particular way so that they stand out. Our prayer today is the prayer for church artists. Uh, visual arts add so much. If you notice at the beginning of all of these videos, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I've got some pieces of art that we have around here uh, that I just particularly enjoy. And I rotate those out according to the day of the week. But I'm so appreciative of fine church art. So let's pray for church artists. God of glory, we long to see your face, yet our vision is clouded by brokenness and sin. Breathe your creating spirit into the hearts and hands of those who, through their work in the visual arts, desire to serve you. Through this ministry, draw us to your truth and beauty and bring us to the perfect fulfillment of standing in your unveiled glory. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Hey, before you get your weekend started, uh, go ahead and just like this video, or share this video, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.